Her name is Rio and she washes all the clothes. Yes guys, your favourite is back. The LG Direct Drive F1496 AD washer dryer is back in use on the channel with some sort of whites, grubby load of whites and we're doing a boil wash. No medic rinse and no pre-wash. We use Aston on Biosensitive, some, well I haven't got that, I've got a Tesco one there and the Asmarine Risk Conditioner. Let's see how she goes. She's just had to clean up on the door glass uh, around here, so I've taken all that grime off that was there. So hopefully it'll be the start of her being clean. And you're watching Florence Maladay 3060 on film. summer's day out there, so why not? Got very grubby socks. I've been using that to clean all around the door. I will be safe and put a colour catcher in there. See. Talking about Rio, she's washing a Rio mask. Nice size load. A couple of towels in there. Rags too. Is there anything else there? No, nope, nothing else. Okay. I know none of that colour will run, but uh, I'm just going to be safe. Stick one colour catch sheets in there. Detergent is my favourite Aston on biosensitive. I'm going to use half a scoop of that, I think. Well, 80 millilitres of that. It's got a very yellowish kind of tint to it, the powder. Or bluey, it's like a bluey white, that's it, not that yellow. And the very last Tesco one before we go on to the Waitrose ones. That's just instant reaction. I was going to use some of that Ace White, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to use that on a review one day. I will bring back some reviews. One, that's a bit enough. So we do cotton, 95, no other options. We will select the auto dry. Without further ado, we shall go. Enjoy guys. about having early finishes. <coughs> oh. My shorts for the first time today. Millie's just sitting here. Yeah, so before anyone gets confused, this machine is no longer called Kelly. She's called Rio. I think I explained the whole reason why this machine's called Rio. It's not just because of Duran Duran. It's because it's, well, it, it, it's related to that. It's because LG, if I haven't explained it, the initials for LG Direct Drive are often LG DD. So DD also is the initials for Duran Duran, my favourite band in the entire world. Because I am a Durani. Oh, I haven't seen that reverse before while doing the playing. So we've got 3 hours 39, including the drawing. That's subject to change though for the... Um, that's subject to change. Um, anyway, so, but also, so Rio is an Asian-oriented name for a girl. LGs are made in Asia, uh, in the Asian continents. Uh, this one's made in China, but there's also... Food's ready. Um, this one, but there's also ones that are made in Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and Japan. LG are based in Japan, though. And also the logo is cherry colour. <coughs> oh, chips. Bottom one. Never got to like that though. Why? For gas not for. We're going to start dropping stuff now.
Ja, nu är vi in i. Oh. Det slä, slä. Det just went bang. Det var like a little uh, explosion that was. Just doing the stepping now. Was... Guess what? Five. That's on it, and then. No, nope, wrong one. Oh, I've switched it off, that's stupid. I switched it off. Oh, you switched it off. But because it's finished. No, it was. Okay. Hang on, let me sort this out. So we're now doing the stepping mo uh, motion. Right now, when the machine goes the other way, doing it, that means the machine's kind of weighed out everything and we should start doing the filtration. Let's have a look. Might do one more swing that way. There we go. That click means that we're about to engage now. I am going to be getting a soft mallet and tapping the drum back so that we don't have that warp because that is re uh, we're starting heating up. And the filtration mode. Bearing in mind, as the non biosensitive does get very sudsy. I will add more water manually to this machine a little bit because I do need the level to get over the door seal but I'll add hot water once the machine heats up because we need we need to work on getting this door seal like spotless it already whips up some suds there we have reached 95 degrees celsius and I measured by checking that the machines uh, with the machines inbuilt NGC sensor. And we just did a filtration. So no, I've, I have added a little bit more water, uh, which the machine still heated up to full temperature. And that just allows it all to sit and in, go into the door seal. And that'll start hopefully cleaning out all the door seal. There is still mole up that way and it needs to go. That? smiling at me from the car. Why? Come and have a look. No, I'm thinking. He's waiting. By the park. What, is, is he an only child who's Shut waiting up. by the park? Da 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 <laughs> I hope not catch that doing a filtration. Quite satisfying to know that the uh, seal's getting cleaned. And the door as well. Cool down. Whoa! The drum just like dropped one, that's four inches there. <laughs> four inches. <laughs> Water for the slow is going to give us the most balancing problems for some reason. Ugh, a lot of air came out the drawer there. That's the door creaking by the way, cooling down. Short tumbles, but that's all right. Well, it's the first intermediate spin now. Oh, 
Let's see how we do this one. Here we go, let's see what we get into. I'm not surprised I'm not going to spin that. problems with this one. I had that perfect for a second. five breaks that does.
thousand RPM. Yeah. We should do. on that set. Second intermediate spin now. That's the kick straight by kick straight by right there. Okay. Has uh, snapped. I don't know the previous owners probably trying to get the kick strip off. But finding kick strips these a little bit hard. And I'm trying to find a way to start silence the pump a little bit though. Not 
去玩的。Cycles to do 1,000 RPM after the main wash. Medic rinse on the cycle, those filled in white wash. film there. <coughs> so we're uh there we go, so we do so yeah, we're not doing the medic rinse so this is gonna be a lot shorter. So oh, the medic rinse is like an extra 25 to 30 minutes on that. Uh, as I said I only do that really for towels, bedding towels and bedding I do. If I find anything else I feel might need it. Maybe jeans or so as well. It helps helps the sensitive skin. So yeah, um, that's good. It's distributing that, though. Uh, final rinses are slightly lower levels than all the other rinses, because uh, probably to do with the concentration of the fabric conditioner. Maybe that. Just swing. spin and we will not spin that Thank you. 
I'm going to skip all the anti tank ones, of course. burst. Oh, that's be first on spin. I think we'll get that first go. It does have a characteristic sound of the shock absorbers on this. But yeah, it is induced more heavily by the drum being off centre. Even when run empty. Six hundred, six eight a thousand, six hundred eight hundred a thousand. Very briefly, uh, 
ramp up and that's kind of not spinning up. No way are we actually going to spin that. Oh, something's getting grinded off the pump. Oh, I'm sorry. But if she takes that 14 on there's something wrong with this machine. No, that will cut out. There's no way that's going to... No way. That's good. No, maybe not for this one. She'll stop, she'll stop, I know she will. Oh my goodness me, that's going on the 1400. Uh, whoa, okay. There you go, Rio is putting on the show. When she shines, she really shows you all she can. For the ride, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Oh, Do you know LGs are very sensitive machines? This one definitely isn't sensitive all the times. <laughs>
decibel, you don't see how loud that is.
still, she's still quiet though. I've had some worse on balance slows than this, of course, in a week still. for drying now. I reckon it's going to be about two hours. Because we've got two tea towels in there. Or shower hood in there. See what she says. Okay, so the machine thinks an hour and ten. We'll, we will see. I think that click was the heater coming on. Oh, there you are. Heater on it engaged. Engaged now. Alright, there we go. I think she'll do that. Well, that's, to be fair, the load does look pretty much dry. Not dry. On the right and extent, so we'll see. Um, having obviously <coughs> been present through a lot of the drawing cycles on this machine. I've noticed that every two minutes the machine will shut the power off to the element and do the sensing tumbles, which is where the machine detects how dry the load is. And then you can decide from there. However, I think that this will run right through to the end. And that's good though. We'll finish a little bit earlier than I expected. And then I'll let then what I'll do is I let the machine cool down and then we come and do a, a rinse out fluff afterwards. Just a quick little bit, a minute or two on the type clean function. I will do an. I will at some point do an ASMR video of this machine. So I just have the fourteen hundred stage just looped. That machine got the fourteen hundred, um, and you know with a dry load in there, so we don't get any knocking really. Lots of guys like that as well. Just a load that's gone at 1400, I'll loop the video for like a whole like two hours of that. And then I'll just one day just film an entire drawing cycle from start to finish at a distance like this. We'll have some sort of like ambient lighting around the machine. 
because I find washer dryers very relaxing. Um, not just because of the way they dry and everything, but it's also the, the heat, the radiant heat that comes off the mark when they, you know, about 20 minutes in, this thing gets really hot and you can smell it and you just see how the clothes are getting dry. So we've only been about three minutes and I'll to tell you, that is pretty warm up there. So we have 20 minutes left. That'll be 19 in a second now. So another 10 minutes until we start cool down. Everything is definitely looking a lot more dry than it was when it first went in, but there's so much condensation around there. You see everything's tumbling more. Everything's definitely tumbling a lot more freely now. And once that, once I let that cool down like a little bit more, we then put the machine onto a rinse out fluff cycle. Clean all that stuff out. So that doesn't wash into the next load, because you definitely don't want that. I love the swing we do. Eighteen minutes to go. Catch you in the cool. So now we're on the ten minute cool down. The machine shuts off the power to the heating element and just continues to use the dryer fan to gradually cool the air down. During this time, in the last five minutes, the drain, uh, the pump will run for a considerably longer amount of time uh, just to pump out all the last remaining moisture. Conversation around the door will begin to decrease. The air comes down. This is like the most this is like the most satisfying part of the cycle now. That's actually dry that. Yeah, but that's the separate area, okay, yeah. Look Very last minute of the drying cycle now. The very last minute of the cool down. Let me see how dry everything is. And of course, we get played a lovely ending tune as well. Two minutes, that's unlock. She's clicked, so it's time to unlock. 
still a lot of heat coming off that, but not as much as there would be if we opened it earlier on. So we give everything a bit of a shake. You just feel that. Oh, that's lovely and warm. That is dried. That is perfectly dried. The socks come out nice and fluffy. They're the best things. That... Oh, no, we've got towels in there, haven't we? Socks feel the best. Clean face mask, oh, lovely. That's lovely and hot. Yeah, that dish cloth though. Whew, that's got the most heat on it, that one has. Let's do something here, shall we? I've got my infrared thermometer here. Let's see how hot that comes, these, some of these clothes come out of it. 49.4 degrees is that has come out. What this? What about something buried at the bottom there, like this towel? 47 degrees that came out. Ah. 48 degrees that one is. That's so nice and fluffy though. Oh God. Actually, how about in the machine's drum? 58 degrees is the back of the drum. How about the rim of the drum, where the dryer would have been hitting? 53, front here, it'll be. 41, and then we get the top. 57 degrees, that's where you'll be getting all the... Have I shown you guys how the dryer is on this, by the way? You know how normal washer dryers have got the dryer ducts at the top of the seal? Notice this doesn't have it. On this one, the dryer duct is behind the rim here. That's what all those holes up here do. The dryer duct actually blows through those. So if I ever need to replace the seal on this, I can just use a standard washing machine seal, which is more convenient. A little less mold in there. I'm gonna keep working on that. That is all what needs to be rinsed out. I still can't get over how big this drum actually is though. It just, eight kilogram, it feels massive though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm gonna put some more mum stuff in there now it needs to dry. And I'll do a big rinse out fluff at the end. Thank you very much for your support and love for this machine. There will be more to come, but guys, just gotta be patient. Uh, I do have a very busy schedule at work and it does take a lot more time to use a washer dryer because of the drying cycle and whatnot. So that's why there's very few and far between videos of this. I am considering bringing Millie back though for uh, an experiment. I do have one lined up, but I've got to figure out how to execute it. Until then, uh, we're going to a car boot sale tomorrow, so uh, hopefully you might get to pick something up from there. Or maybe even get a vlog of it there. I'd not, well, no, there won't be any vlog of it there, but I will um, hopefully pick something up. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.